In this video, we will look at how to deal with the matrices and uh, arrays in uh, NumPy. Okay, so here we are using the spider IDE to write our code. So first, uh, let's uh, look at a simple example. I make two lists. I can make a list like this: one comma two comma three comma four. I can make another list: okay, four comma two comma eight. Okay. And uh, let's see what happens if you try to add these two together. So first, let me run these uh, lines of code. Right click and run selection. And you'll see in memory now I have X and Y. Okay. If I try to do X plus Y, you would expect that the numbers will get added up. But that's not what happens. So X and Y are what's called a list. You can see they are called list. So the addition symbol, all it does is it, it combines them or it appends the uh, list together. Okay, so things like x minus y doesn't even work. It will give you an error. Okay, you cannot do x multiply by y either. Okay, it will tell you you cannot do these kind of operation between lists. So this is why you have to use NumPy array and uh, NumPy matrices to actually do any kind of computation between arrays and matrices. So let's start by importing NumPy. P. Okay, if you already have a list available, you can easily convert it to an array. So you can say numpy.array and just say the same name, x. Okay, so if I do this, we didn't run this part, so let's run this part. And right now you can see x is a list. And as soon as I run this, it will change into an array, okay, with size 4. So there are four elements inside it. Let's do the same for y. Uh, before we do that, uh, I want to show you what happens if uh, y is still a list. Yeah, If I say plus 2, this doesn't make sense. Again, same issue because y is a list. Okay, But x is now a numpy array, so x is an array. You can do x plus 2, you can do any kind of mathematical operation with x. Okay, So let's get y as well on the same page, so y equal to np.array. Okay, so now I have my x value and the y value. Now I can do x plus y, I can do x divided by y, okay, x minus y. Now what it's doing is it's doing it element by element. So it takes the first element 1 minus 4 to get the answer over here, okay. So this is not exactly matrix uh, addition and matrix uh, subtraction, okay. So as an array, you don't really care about the orientation. But when you, when, so if I say x multiplied by y, it just multiplies it element by element. Okay? But if you want the vector to have a shape, so it can either be a 4 by 1 may, uh, vector or it can be a 1 by 4 vector. Okay? Column vector or row vector. If that is important to you, you have to use matrices, not array. Okay? So I'll change this to matrix, matrix, and run this cell. Uh, Okay. Now if I type in x, it's a matrix and another change you will notice is as soon as it becomes a matrix, it has a double uh, square brackets. Okay. And y has the same, uh, same structure. Now I cannot do x multiplied by y easily. Okay. Now the shape is important. It will give you an error like this. The shape of x is 1 by 4. Shape of y is 1 by 4. You cannot do matrix multiplication of those. You have to transpose one of them. Okay. So we could do um, x multiply by y. To transpose it, just use the transpose method, dot transpose. Okay, so this is 1 by 4 multiplied by 4 by 1. The result will be 1 by 1. Okay, so you get a single value. If you go the other way, times y, so now we transpose x. So this will be 4 by 1, okay, uh, 4 by 1 multiplied by 1 by 4. You'll get a. 4 by 4 matrix. Okay, you can store the results. So let me store this in a matrix called A. So let me just copy the code from here and put it here. Okay, now I have a matrix A in memory that has all these uh, numbers inside it. Okay, the last function I want to cover is the eigenvalues. Uh, so if you want to get the eigenvalues of this matrix A, you can use the eigenvalue function, so np dot, it's inside the linear algebra package, so inside NumPy, so np dot linear algebra dot um, eigen function, 
Okay, and if you ask it to fetch the or calculate the eigenvalues for a, it will return two things. Um, so the output has an array, so it's like a vector, and it has a matrix. Okay, so the array, the first part is the eigenvalues, and the matrix is the eigenvectors. Okay, so if you want to store it uh, separately, you have to say something like eigenvalues, comma, eigen vectors is equal to okay and p dot linear algebra dot eigen of a if you run this if i call eigenvalues now i get the array of the four eigenvalues one two three four and then if i do vectors i get the eigenvector okay so Basically, this is the code that we want. Okay, so this is how you can use NumPy and find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of matrices. Okay, uh, I hope this helps.